Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. We are doing your weekly love reading, so let's begin. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I am so grateful to each and every one of you. All right. Leo. Leo, your overall energy for this reading is the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Or you could have those placements. You have the Page of Swords. The World. And then the Queen of Wands. The Seven of Wands, you have the Ace of Pentacles, and then the Two of Cups. Whoever this person is, this Page of Swords is, this person's really into you. This person's really into you. Sees you as someone so beautiful, assertive, magnetic, and everything. Okay? So your overall energy for this reading, Leo, is the Four of Pentacles. I'm hearing you're kind of closed off to this person. Um, you're kind of closed off to this person. Maybe you're working a little more. You're focusing a little more on your work, on your money. But this offer, I feel that you're not closed off because you were hurt in the past or anything but i feel that it's more on you are closed off because you are working more on yourself your money your career your stability um you feel that you lack time to be entertaining love right now so yeah that is the energy that i'm getting you have the hierophant as your overall energy so what i'm hearing here is this offer that's coming in this could potentially lead to a higher form of commitment a traditional kind of higher form of commitment so let's just say marriage um this is something that is guided by the universe this is something that you um that god is just stepping in for you the God or the universe or whoever higher power you believe there is, they are stepping in for you. They really are. That's why they are there on top. All right. So you have the Page of Swords to the Seven of Wands. This person is very curious about you. Very, very curious about you. Could be looking through your social media. Could be um, browsing through your you know your social media histories your the the things you post on social media i'm hearing the last 7 months and 7 weeks um you know this person whether you know this person already or not this person is very guarded himself or herself this person is already guarded this person does not let anyone in but lo and behold they let you in you you got in to that bubble you got into that bubble so they're really fascinated on how you even got in the first place they don't let anyone in, I'm hearing. They don't let anyone in. So you have the world here and then the Ace of Pentacles. You could be dealing with someone from another part of the world or the country or another city, something long distance. That is what's here in the world. This is a new beginning for you. Very much a new beginning and a very solid and stable one. One that is handed by the universe themselves this is a gift from the universe i'm sorry if you hear my dog snoring in the background but yeah they are <laughs> if you hear that anyway this is something new offered but offered and gifted by the universe so go ahead this is 
your higher power is stepping in for you. The Queen of Wands to the Two of Cups. There is a lot of love here. There is a lot of love here. And this person really finds you someone so magnetic, so someone so confident, assertive, ambitious. And they have a lot of love for you. They actually find this union very deep and very, you know, they feel all right. Um, the moment that they met you, they felt an instant connection in a very deep one. A very deep one. It didn't, it didn't, um, I'm hearing it didn't um, have to take so long for them to open up for you. And it didn't take so long to get to know each other. Okay, that's actually really nice, Leo. So let's see what is the overall 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 outcome okay the overall outcome is the queen of pentacles the temperance and then the high priestess you'll just know i'm hearing you'll just know that this is the one for you Listen to your intuition a lot. I'm hearing this person has really good intentions towards you. This person is really going to take their time um, in getting to know you. This person is really going to give you your space. Be patient about you and the space that you need and the time that you need to, to possibly consider them. It's really nice. And actually, you are very much guided by your angels. If you see repeating numbers, synchronicities, that's when you know that your angels are there. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, you have your queen of pentacles here. I'm hearing you're just going to sit there. You're just going to sit there and wait for your person to come in. You're just going to sit there and, you know... I'm sorry, my dog started barking, so I had to pause. So I'm hearing with the Queen of Pentacles here, you're just going to sit there and wait and let this person find you. You're, you're not going to find, you're not going to go out and look for them. You're not going to go out and chase them. You're going to let them come to you. There's actually a potential here of settling down because the Queen of Pentacles here is... Um, someone who who's a homemaker someone who's a homemaker so male female not really gender specific we're looking at the energies here but yes very much ready to settle down with you um has the potential of you know making a home let's see the advice Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, the advice. The advice is the Nine of Pentacles, the Fool, and then the Queen of Swords. So the advice here is very simple. Take that risk easily. Take that risk once you feel. Use your intuition. Uh, pan it out. Use your intuition, understand when to take the risk, but it's okay. Go ahead and take that risk. You have the Nine of Pentacles here. Um, while you're waiting for that person for you, go ahead and work on yourself, work on your stability, focus on yourself, focus on your money. And then the Queen of Swords. There are people, I'm hearing, there are people, certain people in your life that really don't need to be there they're just going to give you a lot of confusion so spirit is telling me that you would know once this person comes in and if people are making you feel confused and you know you feel like you're in between worlds you feel like you have to put in effort and compete for someone's attention 
cut them out of your life. You don't need that. The person that's coming in will never, ever let you feel that way. Never. All right. So let's cap off your reading with some oracle cards. Whoa. That actually popped out. So you have here soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. It's really nice. And then you have the wisdom of the oracle. Okay. You have flexible. That is number 19. All right. Let's see. Flexible. Flexible. So 19 is the sun card, actually. The sun card. So there is a lot of happiness coming towards you. A lot of happiness, a lot of expansion. Let's see. Flexible. Relationship message. Let's see. In every, in every relationship, it is important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rigidity is what is required right now. You do not always have to be right all the time, do you? Is it okay to come to a happy compromise? I mean, sorry. It is okay to come to a happy compromise. You can still get your needs met. It is a beautiful time when you meet halfway. The appearance of this card is in a reading could also signal that you have met someone new who may not be your type, but who will turn out to be so special that you can easily release your old ideas about what sort of partner is right for you. Be flexible. You will be happy you made that choice. Be flexible. All right. That's a really good reading, Leo. So I hope something in this reading resonated. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next reading. I love you all and stay blessed.